Till when will we defer? There's a book of Sheikh Nasir, of Sheikh Utaimi. It's available there in the exhibition. Until when will we defer? On page number 36. An Indian asks Sheikh Utaimi a question. In my country, people call towards Ikhwani and Tabliki. Are they on truth or falsehood? Sheikh Utaimi gives the reply. If anyone calls himself at the Ikhwani, calling towards Ikhwani, Tabliki or Salafi, he is on falsehood. The question of Salafi wasn't there. Sheikh Utaimi goes out of his way to say that anyone calls himself a Ikhwani, a Tabliki or a Salafi, calling towards him, huh? it is on falsehood, not I. See, Dr. Zakir Naik is nothing in Islam. I am zero. Sheikh Utaimi, mashallah, has a caliber. So I am following the fatwa of Sheikh Utaimi. So any Salafi who points a finger at me will have to point the finger at Sheikh Utaimi. Now all these people on the website you go, they even say Sheikh Utaimi says call us a Salafi. What he says? Sheikh Utaimi says you should follow the Salafi solid. But that is what I say. So Sheikh Utaimi does not mind anyone following Salafi solid. But if you call towards saying call yourself a Salafi, he says it is falsehood. Sheikh Utaimi. So Sheikh Nasrun Albani is on one extreme. Fard, Sheikh Utaimi says it is wrong. But both agree. Sheikh Nasrun Albani also says that if you call us a Salafi, thinking you are superior, then it is wrong. Sheikh Saleh Fawzan also says, if you say I am a Salafi, I am superior, then it is wrong. So even these first group of scholars who say calling Salafi is a Fard, even they agree if you call us a Salafi and say that I am superior, I will go to Jannah, others won't go, that is wrong. Sheikh Saleh Fawzan, Sheikh Nasruddin Albani, Sheikh Bin Baz, Sheikh Utaimi, besides saying this, he says you should not call yourself a Salafi. I am not as staunch as Sheikh Utaimi. If you ask me, I said, preferably call yourself Muslim. If someone calls him, say Salafi, in some cases can be Mubah. Fine, shortcut. I don't say it's haram. I don't say it's haram. But I prefer safe, 100% safe Muslim. The scholars are differing. Should call or not call. If someone is calling as a shortcut, instead of saying, I follow Quran, Hadith and Salafi solid, only to that extent, which is not the case. Most of the people, they say Salafi, safe sect. And all the others, Unu Jannam. So this way it is wrong. For short, reason if you say, I say Mubah, not a Farad. I am more with the fatwa of Sheikh Saleh Munajjid. Sheikh Saleh Munajjid says, if you call for understanding that you do not belong to the innovators, there is no problem. But if someone calls saying, I am a Salafi better, then it is wrong. And he quotes the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Madina, there was a fight between the Ansar and the Muhajirs. So the Ansar said, O oh, Ansar, come to me. So all the Ansars filed behind Ansar. And the Muhajir said, O oh, Muhajir, come help me. The Prophet came to know, he said, what is this call of Jahiliya? See, if you analyze, calling Ansar is not bad, calling Muhajir is not bad. But here they were making groups. Ansar, come and help me. Muhajir, come and help me. The Prophet said, it is the call of the Jahiliya. Though Ansar is a good name. Ansar means, the helpers. Helpers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhajir means those who migrated in the way of Allah and His Rasul. It's a good name, but yet the Prophet said, it is haram. To identify yourself, I'm superior. So based on this, I don't say Salafi is haram. Don't get me wrong. But absolutely safe is Muslim. If you say Salafi and have a little bit of error and, you know, ego and all, problem may go to the, may be dangerous with the Prophet prohibited. Therefore, safe is call in nani min Muslim and say that I'm a Muslim. Otherwise, I can say I'm a Pakka Hanafi, Pakka Shafi, Pakka Hamli, Pakka Malki, Pakka Salfi, Pakka Elia, this no problem. But in label, call yourself a Muslim. I would like to end my talk by giving the opinions in the ending of these great scholars, which will open up your mind. According those people who say takfir, no takfir, kafir, kafir. Imam Shafi, may Allah's mercy be on him, he said that if calling the names attributes of Allah, what Allah has given is that. Anything else is haram, is kufr. 
You can only call to name of Allah what he and his messenger have given, nothing else. Anything else is kuf. But if someone calls another name in ignorance, then he's not a kafir, Imam Shafi. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, you know what he said? He said, <clears throat> if someone prostrates to a man and he thinks this is his deen, then he's not an unbeliever, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. If someone does shudu to a man, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah said, if someone does sajda to a man, to a human being and thinks it is his deen, he is not an unbeliever until someone explains to him and yet he is on it. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, what a great personality. Further if you read Sheikh Shaukani, he said that if someone bows down to anyone besides Allah in ignorance, he is not an unbeliever. Muhammad ibn Wahab, may Allah mercy be on him. He said that we do not call unbelievers to those people who bow on the idol of the grave of Abdul Qadir or on the idol of the grave of Ahmad Badawi or the likes of it. So how can we call an unbeliever to those people who do not do shirk? We claim that we are knowledgeable giving takfir, kafir, kafir, etc. I would like to end with the two hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Sahih Muslim, volume number three, hadith number 4565, that Arfaja, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that the Messenger of Allah said that there will be a time when evil things will happen in a community. And whenever a person disrupts the unity of the Muslim Ummah strike him with the sword. And if he does not stop, kill him. A messenger said, anyone who tries to disrupt the unity of the Muslim Ummah, strike him with the sword. If he does not stop, kill him. Sahih Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 4565. I would like to end my talk with the last hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is from Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4. Hadith number 3606. I know the lecture is long. Last hadith. Here, Hudayfa ibn Yaman, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that people like asking to the Prophet what things are good, but I, due to fear, like to ask the Prophet what is evil. And he asked the Prophet that we were in ignorance and evil, and Allah through his guidance he brought us to the good. Will there be any evil after this? The Prophet said, yes, there will be evil. Will there be any good after that evil? The Prophet said, yes, but with a little dakhan, with a little evil. So the Sahaba asked, what is that evil? The Prophet said, there will be some people who will call towards things which are not my tradition. The Sahaba asked, after that, will there be any evil? The Prophet said, yes, there will be people who will call you to the hellfire. So Hudayfa, may Allah be pleased with him, he asks, what should we do? So the Prophet replies, hold fast to the group of Muslims and the chief. So the Sahaba asked, what if there is no group of Muslim and the chief? The reply of the Prophet is, if there are no group of Muslim or no chief, dissociate yourself from all the sects even if you have to bite the root of the tree until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that state